Hello, 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 my friends. Welcome to Hands On Learning. Wallace, Hands On Learning, Hands On Learning. All right, if you're joining me right now, I just want to welcome you to Hands On Learning. Wallace, Hands On Learning. Thank you for joining. I'm very excited. Okay. All right, everyone was coming in. I'm so excited. Today is a beautiful uh, time we're going to have together. And um, welcome to Hands On Learning. And I'm going to introduce you to my friends because we have a topic we are very excited about. Back to school preparation part two. All right, Luke. Okay, welcome everybody. Hands On Learning, there is... Happy the butterfly, my friends, and Belly the ballerina, my friend, and I have Blue the puppy, and I have Ted the bear. All right, today is going to be very exciting. Welcome to Hands On Learning, all my friends. Today we are going to go on Adventurous, but today is a great topic. It's about back to school preparation. Part two, I believe last time we had um, to watch and talk about what happened about preparation. Are you excited to go back to school? I am very excited to go back to school. School is fun. It's a lot of fun. Look, funny, fun, fun for everybody. I am talking about from elementary school to all the way to college, middle school, high school, college, even the one who are going to um, daycare. So I'm trying to prepare everybody. Back to school is fun. All right, look at my friends. Are they excited to go back to school? School is fun. School will learn. Okay, are you ready? Do you remember in the last video we talked about we have to prepare our mind? First thing, because we are going to adjust. Because I know we're not going to school, so we were like, you know, going to bed late. Some friends, not everyone, but some friends were going to bed late. And we were not reading, they were reading books. Or... Some friends, you know, were using more to sit on the t television TV. Some people were using a lot of devices, sometimes using cell phone. Some people are using cell phone. And some friends were using a lot of laptop, iPad. So all these, we have to know that this time we're getting back to school, we're going to minimize we're not going to do too much of that, right? So we want to prepare ourselves so that we have a great time, school time. All right, let me see. Do you remember what is preparation? Hmm? Preparing for school? Okay, so some friends are gonna go to school physically, like you go to school. And some friends, they're going to go virtual learning, digital learning, they'll be doing it from their home or from wherever they are. So it's going to be a lot of adjustment. So my friends here, I told them that, you know what? We can do this, okay. First thing you do, like, you know, you have to say, hmm, you have to build your self-esteem. And you say, I can do it, I can do it. So there's so many things that you have to do to prepare yourself to do your work and to do your homework, to get up early and you prepare yourself for school. So, um, first thing we talk about that, you know, those who are going to be home doing uh, devices using the digital learning, they're going to be having their uh, laptop or iPad. So the first thing you do, we talked about charging your devices. You charge your devices. Very important. Before school, the following day, I'm just going to 
advise you. I'm thinking you charge it before the following day so that when you wake up, because this is going to be school, school, you wake up early in the morning like the way we go school, okay? So when you wake up, make sure you brush your teeth, you take a shower, a bath, and make sure you get ready. And then you eat your breakfast so that you'll be okay when you sit down, okay? So you charge your devices, you charge it, okay? So that it's be okay. And then the next thing we talked about was like to prepare your schedule. This is gonna be a new semester. This is gonna be a new year for everyone watching me. So what you do, what are you gonna do right now? Okay. So you are going to be thinking about, hmm, let me think what to do. Prepare where you're going to be doing school. So what you do, you prepare. How do you prepare? Get a comfortable place where you can sit nicely. Get a comfortable place where you can do your work. Maybe you can do your table or your desk. Some people call it like that. And you can... Get your computer right now there nicely and you put all your materials, all the materials that you have, your binders, three ring binder, you put all your work inside there with your paperwork, set up all everything together where you can get everything, your eraser, your pencils, your pens, and your lures, and your Stapular, if you can use your stapular, okay? And your pencil sharpener, you get this together. Put everything together and set it up nicely. And you can have index cards. You can have all the scissors. You put everything together. Set them up nicely so that you can reach whenever you need it, okay? So you set it up on your table. Make sure, let's do this before school start. Put it together. You are responsible, not mommy. You are responsible. Mommy can help. Daddy can help. A grown-up can help. But I want you to be responsible. All right. So when you do that, make sure that your devices are charged well. Because sometimes you never know. You wake up, there, maybe there's no power. So I need to encourage friends to charge it very nicely. Okay, so after we do that, make sure that, uh-huh, the first thing we do, we're going to be introduced. How do you work on the computer? How do you set up your, um, your username? How do you get into the computer? So all those procedures the teachers or wherever you have, the accounts, they give to you. Make sure set it up. Set it up. Not the day you are starting school. Ask a grown-up. Set it up. If you know how to do it, that will be fantastic, perfect. And if you have to help your sibling, please, you can help, okay? We want everybody to get on. It's exciting because school is fun, okay? So we can do that. And after we set up everything, so we make sure you can go in there. The first thing we have to know, they're going to give you instruction. They are giving you what you're going to do. Whatever subject, whatever topic, whatever course, whatever you're going to do, they give you instruction what to do. You have to follow the instruction, okay? So what we do, you read it nicely, take your time. Time, take your time, take your time. Read the instruction. Or a grown up can help you if you're in elementary school or if you are in a, um, middle school. A grown up can help you even high school. Sometimes we need help, even college, right? So make sure you put things together. So after you do that, okay, so when they introduce you to your classroom, you're going to have friends there, right? Very important. I love to have friends. I love to have friends. 
Friends are very important. So when you have friends, make sure you communicate with your friends. No friends. Nobody can do it by themselves. No, no. At least have a good friend, two or one. Make a friend. It's very important to make a friend. Make sure when they introduce to you with your friends, the friends, just make a friend. And why are we making a friend? Because sometimes, you know, things can happen out of control. Maybe you are not there when they're doing the subject. That friend, you can call a friend. What did you learn? Because I missed the class. Because what? Maybe you went for your appointment for a doctor appointment and that friend will explain to you. Okay? This is what you have to do. Okay? It can be anything. Maybe you just missed the classroom because of something very important. So make sure you make a friend. Friend, your friend, friend, friend is very important, okay? And then also make sure you know your teacher. Very important. Your teacher is the most important you're going to be communicating with, okay? I like to communicate with the teacher. Talk to your teacher. Very important, be comfortable with your teacher. She's going to help you throughout this semester and she will instruct you everything. Yay, very important. Make a friend and make a friend. Have self-esteem and make a friend, a new friend. And make sure you communicate everything with your friend. So after you do your knowing your teacher and your teacher give you instruction what to do, so what you can know now, the instruction will be about the syllabus. The syllabus, the curriculum, what you're going to do, instruction. So pay attention to that. Pay attention to your syllabus, to your curriculum. Pay attention to the program. Every topic, every subject you are doing, pay attention to what they're telling you to do. Every subject has got different way of doing things. They'll ask you, some of them, to do a project because you have to pay attention. When is it due? When is it going to be you have to submit it to the teacher. So you have to pay attention to all that. And you know what I do? You can create up a schedule for yourself. Just make a schedule nicely, a structure, maybe Monday through Friday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, what you're doing, write it down. You say, oh, math is due on Tuesday. What day? You put Tuesday, what time? You put the time so that it can help you to run your day. Please make a schedule for everything. Very important, okay? You can do it. I know you can do it. I know you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Yes, you can, all right? Make a schedule. You can write it nicely on the paper. Or if you have a board, you can write it on the board, whichever way or often on your notebook at the back, make sure it's where you can see it, all right? Where you can see it and you can see it, okay? And then the next thing you do, oh my goodness, this is very important. Avoid distraction. Avoid anything that would you lose your focus. Very important. So what we do, there's so many things in the spiritual in the house there are going to be so many things that want to distract you. But say, no, no, this is school time. I'm going to give you an example. The first thing you do, if you have your cell phone, power it off. Cell phone off. And put it away. You don't want to be tempted away when you're doing your schoolwork. Okay? You can do it. I do that too. If the TV, TV, television has to be off. Off. When you're doing work, any iPad you have off, turn it off, turn it off. It's okay, turn it off. Okay, you can do it. Okay, you're building your future, you can do it, and they know you can do it. Awesome. All the distraction in the house, 
Don't go where they're cooking, the kitchen, if your house, just make a special place where it's very quiet, not too noisy. It can distract you. If you're good at noisy, you want to listen to the music, it's okay. But make sure that you concentrate on what you're doing. You can do that, okay? What are we going to turn off? Cell phone off. Television off. Turn it off. Turn it off, please, okay? And stay focused with your work. All right. When you're doing your work, I know you can do it because you're going to be there sitting, whatever your special room is, whatever you're going to be doing your work, sitting. But guess what? When you have a little break, I know they give a little break. When you have your little break, you know what you do? If I were you, I'll get up, stretch a little bit. Mm -hmm. You can walk around in the house for a few minutes. Oh, that's when you run around. You grab whatever you need. If you need, oh, wow, I need water. Go grab it. Water. Get your water. Mm -hmm. Even in the cup, even if it's in the bottle. Get your water, okay? If you want to make something just, you know, to drink, get a little fruit. You can put there whatever snack you want, okay? Very important. Walk around, move around, move around. Because sitting for, sometimes if you sit for a long time like this, you'll be dozing and all that, you know. But it depends. Sometimes um, some topics you are doing, you are engaged, you like it, you know, you'll be all awake to do it and you're going to be excited. I know that. All right. And then you get your little water. And guess what? The other thing you have to have, have index of paper. Very important. When the teacher is teaching, these are index cards. When the teacher is teaching, if you don't know something or you didn't understand very well, write it down. Write it down, write it down. You write it down. Very important. So that after you finish your class, you can go research about that word or you can find out what does it mean. Or maybe when the teacher is teaching, you can raise your hand and then you ask that question. Get your notebook. It helps. It goes a long way. Or a paper, okay? You can do it. Awesome. Those are just tips I'm just showing you that you know it can help you. All right, because you can do it. Get not index card nicely. And guess what else you can do? When you make all those friends, you can do book club. Very important. Sometimes you can read with your buddy, your friend. You can read with your friend after school. And then you guys, you can exchange ideas. We're all learning, right? You can exchange ideas or you can encourage each other, right? So that's why we need a friend. We need a friend. And you have the resource to do all that. So school is going to be fun. I'm very excited. I'm looking at everybody can do it. Yes, you can. Those who are going to go digital learning and those who are going in class, everybody. And make sure just, you know, be very careful. If you're going out there, just be safe. Okay? Be safe. That's the most important thing. Be safe and, you know, make sure I stay focused with school. School, school, school. School is fun, okay? I'm just encouraging everybody, like everyone. Let's adjust the time, the time you go to sleep. And let's focus to read. Reading is good, okay? We're going to read. You can read with your friend if you want encouragement. And you can read a lot of books, okay? You can read a lot of books. It helps a lot, okay? So we're going to do that, okay? So my friends here, they are very excited to go back to school. School is fun. So we should remember what to do. School is fun. And sometimes it helps. I'm talking to every grade, from elementary school to all the way up to college, middle school, high school, all the way to college. Some people, they are not good with digital learning. It's okay. I know for now, we just to be encouraged. You can have a lot of research out there. 
you can learn through, some people learn through music. There's a lot of research you can find. If you're talking about biology, maybe you're talking about a part of your body, you can do the rhyming words. There's a lot of things source you can find there. You learn through the music, yes. And you talk about all the function of the body. It can help you like that, okay? There's so many things that you can do. And some people are good at just, you know, writing it down, just like on index card, you write the vocabulary word and the meaning. And guess what? You can use the index card. And then you can have your friend, the partner, or at home, you can use that, that, you know, somebody like, you know, ask you a question and you answer. That's the way you're studying your work, okay? So there's so many things that we can do. I'm going to, this topic is, we're going to, Talk about it again, back to school, just to encourage and see how you're doing. Make your friends and know your teacher. It's going to be okay. We can do this. Make a friend and know your teacher. It's going to be okay. We can do this. Okay, all right. Go back to bed early. Wake up with full energy. And guess what? Exercise, very important. So our brain will be functioning well. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. School is fun, okay? I just excited that everyone is excited about going back to school, okay? So if you like, subscribe and consider and turn on that notification. So because we're going to talk about another topic about going back to school. But there's so many tips we need to learn how to navigate on the computer, how to answer the questions, how to interact with friends on the computer, how to interact with the teacher, how to be open and so that we can do this. Because everyone, we need encouragement. Okay? I'm very excited. All right? Consider and subscribe. Liking. Um, next week, we're going to talk about the same topic, going back to school. What next do we do? Because now we know the teacher. Now we know the friends, right? Now we set up the room. What are we going to do? You have all the material together, put together. Now, I want to hear from you. Next week, we're going to be official in the classroom. And those who are already in, official in the classroom, Awesome. Keep it up. Keep it up because we can do this. All right. Okay. If you like, subscribe and consider. Have fun at school.